Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are exploring one of the few non-war-related mass shootings in the war-torn country of Yemen, the Yemen school shooting by Mohammed Aman al-Mazari. Throughout her history, Yemen has been a highly divided, conflict-ridden country with conflict and disaster. North and South Yemen combined into one country in 1990, with civil wars having engulfed much of the broken country's history. Most recently, the Yemeni Civil War, which entered its sixth year in 2021, with no end in sight. It is estimated that over 233,000 Yemenis have been killed in the conflict thus far. Mohammed Aman al Mazari was born in 1949 in what was then the Mutawaklite Kingdom of Yemen in Yemen's present day capital, Sana'a. Mazari fought with the Mujahideen in the Soviet Afghan War against the Soviet Union, which lasted from the 24th of December 1979 until the 15th of February 1989. Soviet troops failed to quell the Mujahideen insurgency in Afghanistan with the guerrilla war, resulting in the deaths of 57,000 Mujahideen, 14,453 Soviet troops, 18,000 Democratic Republic of Afghanistan troops, and as many as 2 million Afghani civilians. Returning to Sana, Nazari became a bus driver for the Talai Private School and Musa bin Nusagi School. Schools in the middle class residential suburb of Asbai, four miles south of the centre of Sana. In total, both schools had more than 1,000 students, with students aged between the ages of 6 and 18. He eventually married and had five children two of whom attended the Talai private school. He was eventually fired by the headmistress of Talai school, Egyptian Ayam Abd al-Bari, prior to the massacre. Nazari alleged that in October 1995 he had feuds with people over a plot of land who allegedly kidnapped and raped his eight-year-old daughter. Nazari blamed Bari and her husband for the approved kidnapping and also stated that Musa bin Nusagi school approved the kidnapping of his son. However, there was no evidence that his son was kidnapped, and medical examination later proved that his daughter was a virgin. Furthermore, Nazari was irate at his teenage daughters for their alleged indiscretions, including dating as teenagers. On the 30th of March 1997, Nazari illegally obtained a Kalashnikov assault rifle with weapons very easy to get in Yemen, with an estimated 50 million weapons for a population of 16 million in 1997, and waited at the Talai private school for Bari, shooting her in the head when she arrived at the school, killing her instantly. Nazari then killed a cafeteria worker, a bus driver then attempted to block Nazari from entering the building, with Nazari injuring the bus driver. He then walked from classroom to classroom, indiscriminately killing and wounding teachers and students. Nazari then went to Musa bin Nusagi school and continued his killings before being injured by police and arrested. In total, Nazari had left six people dead, Asma Abd al-Bari, Muhammad Yahya al-Ulufi, a teacher at Talal School, Husayan Ali Kaid Al Badani, Muhammad Mukbil Al Awadi, Imad Muhammad Al Ravmi, and an unidentified student also died two days later on the 1st of April 1997. An additional 12 people were wounded in Yemen's first school shooting. Although judged by investigators to be a schizophrenic, Nazari was declared sane and taken to trial where he was found guilty for the massacre and sentenced to death. It was also ruled after his execution that Nazari would have his body nailed to a cross and displayed in public for three days. It was also decided that the medical treatment of Nazari's victim should be paid with his personal funds, with his house and car confiscated. On the 2nd of April, Nazari appealed his sentencing and while the death sentence was upheld, it was decided that his corpse would not be nailed to a cross following his execution. On the 5th of April, Nazari was executed with five shots in the chest in an empty lot between the two schools where he committed his massacre, with crowds yelling, Aluar Akbar, God is greatest, and Faya al Delar, long live justice. His carcass was then kicked by angry citizens along the street and burned. In 2002, Nazari's daughter, who was allegedly raped, 
committed suicide at the age of 15. His remaining four children died in a train accident in 2006. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.